Trump White House counsel Pat Cipollone was scheduled to appear for a deposition before the committee today. Where does that stand? I mean, what was the panel really hoping they were going to get from him? Well, we have an update on this just as of a couple minutes ago to our own uh, Peter Alexander, a source uh, familiar with the situation, giving him an update saying that they are, the committee is extending the deadline for former White House counsel Pat Cipollone to comply with the subpoena to give his deposition, not just today, but extending that to uh, Friday. And we know that he does intend to comply with the subpoena. We know he's been cooperate, cooperating rather with the committee privately uh, for months now. But we expect his deposition to be more of uh, in writing, something uh, that he, he and his lawyers agree to the topics of beforehand. That's because Cipollone has been uh, very concerned about executive and attorney-client privilege, really the privacy of his conversations with the former president. Uh, this is something that committee member Zoe Lofgren said this weekend. Uh, she said that claims of executive privilege, quote, are not an absolute immunity, that those fall when there is something more important. And she said that is true in this case. This is someone who we've heard his name mentioned so many times already in these past hearings, most notably uh, last week during Cassidy Hutchinson's testimony. Listen to what committee member Adam Schiff had to say about how what Pat Cipollone knows could help the committee in its investigation. He clearly has information about uh, concerns about uh, criminal violations, uh, concerns about the president going to the Capitol that day, uh, concerns about uh, the chief of staff having blood on his hands if they didn't do more to stop that uh, violent attack on the Capitol. Hard to imagine someone more at the center of things. Um, and I hope that he'll demonstrate the same courage uh, we saw Cassie Hutchinson display. So obviously we know that his deposition, what we hear from him in his testimony, won't be uh, to the drama and the effect that we've seen in pre-recorded testimonies that the committee has shown or even what we saw live with Cassidy Hutchinson. But we do know that Cipollone can really bolster Hutchinson's testimony that we know has been disputed by several people since, uh, since she, she spoke last Tuesday, Morgan. All right, Ali Rafa joining us live from Capitol Hill. Ali, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.